just when you figure everything was stopped up so the sheep couldn't get out. Day after Christmas, this is what we come to. Whole group of them. So there's two spots we think they may have got out at where we put the new fence in. There's a section um, running north and south that is possible that they could have found a hole in there. Um, we stopped up one side and the other, but we didn't actually check by the stream because we didn't figure they'd go for the water through the water. <laughs> Funny, silly us. So we are, we're going to check that and then also over here where he took out some of these trees, he tore the fence a little bit and we think maybe there's a spot there that they could get out at, but it's not like they don't know where to get in at. I mean, they are patiently waiting just for him to open the gate. So I know what my day is all about, among the other things that we already scheduled for today. What'd you find? Uh, I can see a spot that like a hunter, somebody on foot crossed it. Oh, lovely. But no sheep had crossed it, but okay. it is fairly low. Yeah. And then... Of course, it could have been Afton. He doesn't usually hunt right through here, though. True. But that's right on this side of those trees. Uh-huh. From there on up, there's nothing. Okay, so they're not crossing here, so no, it's got to be back... It's either got to be back here or further up, and we're just not Spotting see, it. seeing the tracks. Hmm. So we'll go back here and climb off that little hill. Let's see what we see. Yep. So this is where we put the new fence in and then dumped all these extra tree branches to kind of cover the fence. But we're thinking somewhere down in here, maybe where the creek is right there that maybe there's no new tracks here okay so are they jumping by the eagles okay Oh. Not out. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. So does it mean they came through somewhere further up across the creek on the other side? Up meaning north? Up meaning like toward our place. Maybe. Please be careful. Yeah, sure. Not a problem. <laughs> Okay, when you're using barbed wire as your safety net. <sighs> it's not very safe. Yeah, this is where they're getting out. Okay, so they're just walking that old fence line. Until they get down there where it thins out. Okay. So. Is there any possible way to get a panel through there? Maybe if I drop in below. Okay. Probably get a get one of those short ones. Uh, hog hog panels. panels. Yeah. Okay. Yep, that's the spot, though. Okay. Well, we told ourselves it had to be this fence line, and if not, then yeah, we didn't we have just, a clue. We just didn't push it far enough well, remember, that way. Well, I was a little scared because it was getting wet, and I was afraid of getting down in. Oh there. yeah, you were sliding. Yes. So. So that's. But yeah, I think if I break a few branches like here, okay, drop down in there. Okay. Maybe even over here. It just sucks getting off that edge. It does. 
Okay. Because if we make a path for us, we're just making a path for the sheep. Yep, you are correct. No, he looks smaller than the two eagles. Yeah, I think he's a gold, or I mean, I think he's a younger bald. A younger bald. So here's the two balds oh, in the tree. Listen to him oh, chatter. They're pissed at they do not like him. Okay, so there's oh, the wait, two Oh wait, here balls. comes another one. Oh, them are goldens. Here's another one to your left. Great big. Oh yeah, right there. See, I don't know that that's a bald either. I think that's a golden. That's what we need is a freaking another pair in here. And that's what you think this one is in the tree is a golden? I do. I just know that it's pissed off. That thing's big. But when they're when they are juvenile versus full grown, they change, kind of change color. They do, kind of like the balds. Yeah. They don't get their white till they're three. Yep, so the goldens don't really, but that just appears to be bigger. Than, it does, and they could be juvenile goldens. Yep. Which is just what we need. More eagles at our place. We know there have been at least two goldens flying around the front pasture at the house but we haven't actually been able to get them on video but um yeah Today i'd say we've got them both here we've got them both here plus the other two eagles and yeah welcome to my life so just for reference there's the tree with the eagles and there's all my sheep Yesterday, I couldn't get her to drink her bottle at all, and today she drank all 12 ounces. So, uh, I guess I just keep supplementing her. Um, she's still nursing off a of mom, but can't imagine she's getting a terrible lot. I mean, like I said, the one side has milk, but how much, I don't know. So, I was planning on throwing them over here in the pen with all these guys, but... I might wait another day or two, um, just till I know what the bottle situation is. If I'm going to still, I mean, and it's not a big deal. I mean, she comes running. So if we do, if we throw her in here, she's still going to come running for a bottle. Um, and she's easy enough to find. So I know who she is and I can catch her if need be. But, um, yeah, not sure what I'm doing yet. So they'll stay in for another day or two and then we'll reassess. You know what we need? This might be a good idea. Less trees? Uh, a little cordless chainsaw. I know you've said that and I've poo-pooed it. You have. But but I'm telling you. It would be a it, good idea. Just for days like today. Yep, just to be able to, rather than you trying to break well, branches. These are about half still alive and so they're not really wanting to break. Wanting to break. But think if I'm going to do a decent job of fixing or patching. But yeah, there's this stretch right here that they're oh, just, all that. yeah, Ooh. just walking right through that we never noticed. So we brought some wire to. This is the trouble with trees. It We're is the trouble with trees. It's pretty until you get into a situation like this. And I do love my trees. It's and I will be planting some thing. more. Whoa. Ooh. Okay. But when you get into situations like this, it's really tough to maneuver around the branches. So I'm going to call that a win, I think. Okay. It's not our best work. No. But well, uh, and I don't know. We'll have to watch that other spot. Yeah. Again. Like I said, I don't. They haven't yet. And I mean, yeah, they well, could. Well, I don't know. 
know, because as I look here, there's wool up under this one. Uh-huh. Like, maybe But they... there's nothing here. Oh, yeah. They'd have to get through right here, and there's no wool here. Not really, huh? No. Okay, well, if they're out again, we'll know this is we'll the We'll know. We need to bring spot. another... Yep, another piece of wire. Since I do think we are done lambing, um, I went ahead and ran the numbers. And it's not great. I know it wouldn't be great. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. So we had 34 lambs born. Of those 34, seven were either frozen or stillborn and four died within 24 hours of birth, which left us with 23 that are alive, 12 ewe lambs and 11 ram lambs. So we're just taking it as a win that we have babies and we'll leave it at that. No, but they're fun. I could sit and watch this all day.